What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got this, uh, I guess you call it a gem behind us here, a 16 foot aluminum boat we just picked up hours ago. And uh, we're pretty much gonna walk you through it and you're gonna be finding out everything about it like we are because we know nothing. It's probably gonna sink. We'll see what also happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Tow boat. It's Tow boat. Happen. I'll, I'll three build folks. <laughs> All right, so this is the boat. It's got wood flooring, front deck, look at life jackets, your anchor in there. Uh, brown seats, they're a little faded, a little torn up. But for what I got it for, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, side console, it's a pretty wide boat, probably five feet wide. I would fish with three people on here. Um, got a 40, 40 horse Mercury. Guy bought this from a dealer three years ago and he paid more than what I bought the boat for. And uh, he just wanted to get rid of it. So I took off his hands. He hasn't used it a couple years. Uh, he told me the bottom carbon is leaking. I didn't try it before I bought the boat. And lo and behold, it is leaking. So that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> We're starting to take everything apart so we can get to the carburetors. And uh, I'm working on one nut right now. It's not coming off. So let's see what's going on here. I did a compression check on it. It's got 140 in every cylinder. This is a four cylinder, 40 horse. A lot of the 40s, like the Edmund and Johnson's are two cylinders. This thing is a torpy son of a gun. So you can use this for water skiing, tubing. Um, if you want to troll 50 miles an hour, you can do that. <laughs> so yeah. So stay tuned, we're going to get the motor going, I'm going to clean the carbs, we'll probably take a video of that, and get the motor going first. I'm going to probably work on the boat a little bit, I might paint the floor, he wants me to carpet it, um, uh, it's just a fishing boat. Alright, so here's the cockpit, side console, it's got a nice Garmin fish finder on it, it also has GPS on it, but I don't have the antenna for that. Um, most of the time I think I'm going to break this thing in half trying to take the cover off. Just a fan design with Garmin. Don't buy a Garmin. Um, yeah, it's a nice screen. It's a couple years old. Um, yeah, this is like a $600, $700 unit right here. And this is just a throttle. It's just real good. It doesn't need cables or anything like that. So I think we're good there. Um, it's got a compass. It's got an old RPM gauge. I don't know if that works. It's got a light switch. It's got a bilge pump switch. The lights work, bilge pump don't work, so I probably gotta replace that. It's got a horn, which has the wrong switch on it. It should be a momentary switch, just a toggle switch. Probably blows really loud. It's a big ass horn. So uh, Sean's more the practical guy, but I have to say, um, I see this boat actually being a really nice fishing boat. Um, it's a simple bass layout already. As far as being a bass boat, I feel like they just didn't do that good of a job. Um, none of this wood seems treated. There's no carpet, no paint. Um, I just don't think it was that good of a job. And I, th I think we could actually make, because a lot of this wood is actually reusable. I know we're paying around $150 a sheet for OSB right now. But um, I see this being a lot more than what it is. Um, the seats, they gotta go. Um, they're not my color, plus they're not in that great of shape right now. Um, but starting off with the flooring, I think we can almost save a lot of this floor because I do like the access, if you see here, getting to the bottom of the boat instead of not knowing uh, down there. Um, it's easy for washing out, actually. So that's what I'm thinking. I Just carpet the floorboards that we have. Same with the front. Um, it, it just would make it look a whole lot better, especially getting these seats out of here because the color is awful. Um, it looks like two, it, there's three yellow mustard packets in the boat. <laughs> so um, if you go up here... So what I imagine is actually putting another seat up front, or sorry, in front here, actually uh, putting a mountain here and having the seat so you can actually sit up here. Um, it is not that large of an area. You're probably only talking three and a half, four feet, but there is plenty of room to work with up here, especially with the storage underneath it. Um, there's actually, it's sitting on top of a bench seat, so that's where the third bench went. Um, but what I imagined would be probably just carpet these flooring get rid of these awful house hinges um, that's meant for 
holding a shed door on. All right, guys. Now, if you want the number to these guys, whoever did this to this boat, I'll be glad to give it to you. You can get some work done to your house, but I'll show you what's uh. This thing. Damn it! Probably not even enough. Good anymore. It works. I'll try it right now. Shoot it right now. I mean, I will. Oh, I got double glocks. Look at this. I don't think these are allowed anymore. Do you know that? So no the trailer is a Highlander trailer. It's just a boat trailer. Uh, somebody put a rag here to support the front of the boat to the winch, which here's the roller for it. So I don't know why it, you would think it would break off, which would be why it came off, which it's fine. So I'm going to take this rag off and see what's going on. It's probably, let's put a bolt through it, get that right. Uh, it's got a nice jack on it. Uh, it's got a newer strap on it. Single axle trailer. It's got a side post so it doesn't fall off the trailer and land in the road. Or, I don't know what they're for, but uh, that's pretty nice. Tires are okay. It's got greasable bearings. So we're probably not going to touch the bearings. Just grease them up. I drove it about 20 miles home. It was fine. It didn't shake or anything like that. Uh, the lights in the trailer don't work. It's got a broken ground wire which I'm pretty sure that's a culprit. And hopefully those work. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Now, one of the few things that came with the boat as far as extras. Pregnant gas tank. It is the pregnant gas tank. Guys, this thing exploded inside of it, and it didn't let any fumes out. So I am scared to open this. So and you're just about to, are you sure about to open it right now? No, it's on. So you're just supposed okay. to loosen the All cap right. on these, which will make it leak. They don't come with vents. And what this will do when you're pressurized so much, it's going to pressurize the fuel system in the motor, and it's going to push so much fuel in it, it's going to blow gas by the float bolt. This is just a bad idea. What you want to do, you want to put a fuel demand valve so it controls the pressure and i think that's what you need for this tank you need a fuel demand valve which you're supposed to get separately no one did it so we might keep the tank and put a fuel de demand valve in it that's like 10 bucks right. everything he just said guys i have no idea what he said i was not paying attention i'm stuck on the fact that this thing blew up inside the tank he says it didn't i say it does so or it did so comment in the video what do you think happened i think it blew up and it's just it's holding in all those fumes all those years and now it's, it's a, expanded, yeah. and now it rocks as you drive the boat so back here you got the battery someone did a fantastic wiring job back here everything is wired in going straight to the battery no fusible links or anything like that um we got some corroded terminals on the battery so we'll probably have to clean those we gotta have a good connection so we can crank good um like, like i said nothing's fused i mean that's a, that's a safety hazard if something gets hot it can burn the boat down you don't want to do that when you're fishing but yeah we're just trying to make this look better probably put some zip loom through the wires maybe add some fuses or whatnot um actually we're, we're trying to keep this thing on a budget but we want it to be safe so battery's dead i gotta charge that make sure it's got a good battery um the, the wood back here is kind of getting soft and you got like a 50 pound battery you don't want that to fall through so probably have to replace that i mean it's good right here but oatmeal so thanks for watching part one of this video. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I have carburetors off and can go through them and hopefully just clean them. I don't gotta buy all new gaskets and whatnot. They're probably gonna just disintegrate on me. So I'll probably have to buy gaskets. Probably won't be tomorrow. But stay tuned. I'll get this thing going. Get the carbs clean. Get them working again. And uh, get it running.